Hey, what's up guys? It's Mr. Ipoc coming in for a homework help video on Lesson 2.4, Part 1, Homework. Okay, so let's start off um, with the very first problem. So your first step is to always ask yourself, are the exponents the same? These exponents are the same. So if your exponents are the same, you're going to add your first terms. 5 plus 9, or 5 plus 9 is 14. And then you're going to drop your base in your exponent. It just remains the same. So say times 10 to the third power. So if the exponents are the same, add the first terms, 5 and 9 is 14, say times 10, and then keep your base and exponent the same of 10 to the 3. Now, this would be right, but for this homework assignment, we didn't put it in the directions due to room, but you have to put all of your uh, answers in scientific notation. So this isn't scientific notation. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to move your decimal one time to the left to set it up for scientific notation. Well, when you move that to the left, you just took this from 14 to 1.4. So when you, if you decrease this, if you go to the left here, this number is going to have to increase by 1. So since I moved my decimal one time to the left, I decrease that, so I increase this. So now it is 1.4 times 10 to the fourth power. Okay. Then from there, circle your final answer. Okay. All right. And then going from there, looking at our next one, um, we are going to look at. Let's look at. Let's just look at number three. So number three, four point eight one times ten cubed plus the quantity of seven point nine one three times ten to the fifth power. So we ask ourselves this question: Are the exponents the same? The exponents are not the same, so we make them the same. You make the exponents the same by, I'm always going to try to encourage the increase because it just seems easier to me. Okay, So I'm going to increase this 3 to a 5. You could decrease that to a 3 if you wanted to, but I'm just going to increase that to a 5. And when I do that, I then have to move this decimal, since I, de since I increase this number by 2, I have to move this decimal 2 times. 1, 2. Now I have 0 0.0481 times 10 to the 5th. So I rewrite my new problem. I got 0 0.0481 times 10 to the 5th plus the quantity of 7.913 times 10 to the 5th. Now I ask myself, are my exponents the same? Yes, my exponents are the same, so I can add my first terms. If I come to the side, I got uh, 7.913 and I add that with 0 0.0481, throw a 0 up there. I'm going to add, I got 1, I have 11, add the 1, 4, 1, and 1 is 6, 9, and 7. So I have 7.9, excuse me, 7.9611 times 10 to the fifth power. You drop your base in your exponent. You ask yourself one question, is this scientific notation? Yes, it is. So therefore, I'm going to circle. It has one number to the left of the decimal representing scientific notation. So on down here to number 7. Number 7, 9 times 10 to the fourth minus 5 times 10 to the fourth. Well, um, do you have adding and subtraction the same? Do you have like exponents? If you do, then subtract the first terms. 9 minus 5 is 4. That takes care of your first terms. Now go to your second terms. If since they're alike, you drop the base and the exponent. That's in scientific notation. Okay, from there, I'm going to go to number, um, let's go to number 9. So number 9 First step, are the exponents the same? The exponents are not the same, so I need to make them the same. I'm just always going to increase them. So I'm going to change this 2 to a 4. And when I do that, I move my decimal. I increase my exponent by 2, so I had to move my decimal to the left, 2. 1, 2. And I have um, my new problem is 6.1 times 10 to the 4th minus the quantity of 0 0.0243 times 10 to the fourth. So 
now I go to the I have my like exponent, so I'm going to subtract my first terms. So now I have 6.1 minus 0 0.0243. And then I can add zeros up here. Okay. So I'll give you a second to kind of get that down. Okay, so now we're going to change this to a, um, we're going to change this right here to a 10. That becomes a 9, right? So 10 minus 3 is 7. 9 minus 4 is um, 5. And, of course, that would have changed to the 9. 9 minus 2 is 7. And then you have, and then, of course, that would have been brought from the 9. And then, so that would be 0. Point and then 6 minus 0 is 6. So 6.0757. So 6.0757. And then I say times 10 to the, the exponent and the base are the same. So I drop the base and exponent. And that is my final answer. Okay, that will conclude this video for the homework help video. I worked four out of 12 of them, so I worked uh, a third of them. So I hope that helps. And if you have any questions, feel free to see uh, Ms. Parsons or myself in the morning. Thank you so much, and have a good evening.